Hi, I'm Tracy Faulkner from Lush Fabrics with another release for you. Ten fabrics this week. I do have a couple of solids in there, so that's bumped the number up a little bit. Um, and some nice prints. Now that we're in February, I am just putting one or two um, autumn, winter style fabrics in for you. I'm not going to rush it because it's still really hot here and I imagine it's still really hot in a lot of places in Australia. So I'm just going to slowly put some in, but the majority are still going to be summer. But come next month, you're going to have to start thinking winter. If it arrives, fingers crossed. Okay, first one. I actually have here three 200 GSM modals. And three of those, did I say three? I've got four. Three of them, I have four modals, and three of the modals are purples. Um, now, I'm excited by that because we have a lot of trouble finding purple stuff. Um, and I do have quite a bit coming in the next container, but I thought I'd get these ones out now and give you purple lovers something to start with. So 200 GSM modal is a really beautiful fabric for the warm weather. Um, a modal is similar to rayon or bamboo. So they go through the exact same process. They just come from a different tree. Um, that's really the difference in them. They have very, very similar properties in that they feel beautiful to wear. Um, they're breathable because they're a, a fairly natural fibre. Um, it's the processing that it goes through that takes some of that naturalness away. Uh, it's usually quite light, but you can get it in different weights. I mean, this one is light. Uh, and it is a fabric that doesn't have the greatest recovery on its stretch. Um, but I think modal may well be the best of the three in that regard. But look, it'll make a beautiful T-shirt for summer. Um, you know, like a little nice little tank top dress or something like that, or a t-shirt dress. Something that doesn't have a huge amount of weight to it. Just beautiful. So this one is called Mauve. Isn't it such a pretty colour? Um, let me show you the stretch. Let me show you. I haven't opened it up. Sorry, this shouldn't be a difficult task. There we go. Now, let me check. Yep, that is the right size. So let me show you a close-up. Can you see how it's knitted? Yeah, it's a bit tricky to see, isn't it? I'm just trying to show you how it's knitted together there. It's a nice little fabric. Okay. So it has nice stretch both ways. It's a really great um, vertical stretch and great drape. And again, it has so much drape. And I can kind of feel it pulling down when I hold it like this. It's just a metre that I have here, but I can feel it pulling down. But look at that amazing drape. Isn't it gorgeous? So unfortunately, I don't have any uh, coordinating threads for these new solid colours. So, And because they're solids, I don't have any coordinating fabrics either because they, they stand alone. They are the coordinates of the future. So this is um, the Mauve 200 GSM modal. Next one is called Purple Rain and it's coming up a little bit more burgundy on the screen right now than it is. It is a really deep purple. Hopefully you'll be able to see that better with the photos on the website because I see quite a bit of plum, deep burgundy colour going on but it really does have more blue in it than it's showing on the screen. So Purple Rain, also a 200 GSM modal. Same old stretch, beautiful drape. Okay, light purple. Oh, what about the other side? It's kind of like a dusty purple, isn't it? It's cute. So, same old stretch, same drape. So this is the light purple. And this one is the mauve. So they are similar. This one here, the mauve, is a slightly deeper colour. But they are similar. There's a bit more difference, I think, in person than it's showing up on the screen. And then I have a soft pink. 
200 GSM modal. And that's really pretty too. Really cute. This would require a skin tone bra, I would think, underneath. Nice stretch. Nice drape. All right, so that's all of our solids. This is soft pink, 200 GSM modal. And now I am going to, hopefully not scare you off, but I'm going to show you a couple of fabrics which are good for winter. But these ones aren't too heavy and warm, so they're actually really good for the in-between time as well. And if you live in a colder climate, it might be something that you could well wear now. So the first one is the Liverpool. And this one is called Skipped Town. Very pretty. Let me open it up so you can see it properly. That's that one. So Liverpool. I haven't had a Liverpool for a little while. Last winter I had a lot of trouble finding any printed Liverpools. Um, so they were few and far between last winter. I don't have a huge amount now, but I have some. So you can see that crepey texture on the right side of the fabric. And then the wrong side of the fabric is quite smooth um, and feels quite nice against the skin. And it is the white background. So Liverpool has a little bit of thickness to it. Uh, it's not huge, but there is some thickness there. It's actually quite a forgiving fabric. It has a little bit of thickness and then it has the crepey texture. It does great things to hide any lumps and bumps. So... Stretch is really good horizontally. Not really anything going on vertically. So do keep that in mind for whatever pattern that you're looking at sewing up in Liverpool. If it requires vertical stretch, this might not be the best fabric. So look, the drape there is quite good. Um, the drape of Liverpool is, I think, like a medium drape if we're going to... Um, rate it with low, medium and high, I would call it medium. So it's not as drapey as something like um, Brush Poly or 200 GSM Modal. It doesn't have that sort of drape. It will stand out on you a little bit, but not heaps. Not as much as, let me think now, a Ponte would or um, a Scuba. I'm trying to think of some heavier fabrics and I just, I have nothing. <laughs> Uh, I have many here and I can't think of a comparison, so that doesn't help me very much, does it? So let me carry on and maybe it'll come to me. All right, matching thread for this one is 1453. And I'll have all of the threads and the coordinating fabrics linked up on the website, so you don't need to take notes or anything. Shiraz is a really beautiful coordinate. This is a double brush poly. And ivory double brush poly is quite nice as well. This doesn't match the background colour but more the whitish coloured flowers or the off-white flowers or the ivory flowers. Uh, and dark mauve is the next one. Double brush poly as well. Looks really nice together. All right, so that is Skipped Town, Liverpool. Hopefully some of you will like that. I know that there are many who have been waiting for Liverpool to come back in. It does make you know, beautiful dresses and tops, skirts, pants, jackets. It's got quite a good range, but you just do need to be sure that your pattern doesn't require any vertical stretch. All right, next is a ponte. This one's called Whirlwind. So this ponte is 95% poly, 5% spandex, 220 GSM. So it's not overly heavy, but it's also not a lightweight fabric. I love Ponte for office style clothes. Not that it's not great for other style clothes, but I just think it makes really nice office wear, you know, like a beautiful dress, um, you know, which is office appropriate style dress or a pencil skirt or even, you know, something like the Symphony skirt from Patton Emporium, which has got a little bit of something going on, but, it, you know, not dead straight, but it's not really flary either. Make a great jacket or blazer. Um, you know, a nice little peplum top or something like that. There's lots of great things that you can do with Ponte. And I think this print is pretty cute. It's just a standard black and white print, really. So the stretch 
on this is fairly firm, but it does still have good stretch. Just a little bit of give vertically. I mean, there's something going on there, but it's not heaps. And there's your drape. And you can see how this stands out a little bit more. Okay. You could use either 2002 or 4000 for this one. So you've probably got something at home that will work already. Uh, and we've just put this one with the ivory. I think you could probably put it with white too. I think I've got white. Let's see. Here's some white. I actually prefer it with white. Okay. Whirlwind. Ponty. Now what I am wearing, this is olive broderie anglaise. So it is a stretch. It's a DTY. So the fabric does have some stretch to it. I am wearing a slip underneath this, just a black slip. So if I come close, you can probably see skin under these dots and then the black under those dots. I actually think wearing a slip underneath it kind of brings the embellishments out on the fabric. I made a New York Minute dress from Tie Dye Diva, which is one of my favourite dresses for summer. Um, so it's just a cute little t-shirt dress. It does have a seam at the back, so it gives you a little bit of shaping with that. And then my slip just goes to here. So this is just a $15 slip from Big W. And I did that because I actually think it'd be quite cute with just bathers underneath as well. So I don't necessarily always want to have a lining under it. I did try it on without the lining and it took some pretty close looking at it to see my underwear lines. Um, so don't automatically assume that you have to line this. It's got a lot of holes in it so we kind of want to line it but you don't necessarily have to. Just give it a go first and see because I think standing back here you can't actually tell the areas where I'm wearing the slip and where I'm not. Maybe if you blow it up. I can't see it from where I am. Maybe if I'm on a big screen, it might be different. <laughs> okay, so this is the fabric. It's a gorgeous colour, and this did go out in a sub box. So it's a DTY, which is a poly knit, 95 or 96% polyester, and then either 4 or 5% spandex. So it's got quite firm stretch again. A little bit going on vertically and then there's your drape. It is a bit greener in person than it's showing up on the screen. It's looking a little bit browny olive to me at the moment but it is green olive uh, and see that makes it look really different isn't it? It makes it look like it's a there's a big difference between the fabric and the thread. We had this last week with an olive as well. Uh, this is 1624 I think it was the same thread as well. Okay, so no coordinates obviously because it is a solid, but it's the olive broderie anglaise. I think it's very cute. Okay, an ITY now. So you might remember from last week I talked about ITYs and DTYs and the main difference in them being that DTY is a whole lot slinkier. This is definitely a lot slinkier. It feels beautiful, really cool to the touch. You can just kind of slide your hand over it. It'll probably take a few clips when you're sewing to keep it together and stop it from moving and some weights when you are cutting your pattern out. But it shouldn't be too awful and I think it's going to be worth it in the end because this is a beautiful fabric to wear in summer. It's a gorgeous print, so Danger Zone we've called this one. I love it and it just feels cool just draped over my arms now. It feels really nice so great for the warm weather. So there's your stretch horizontally, a bit going on vertically and there's your drape. So this one would look amazing with a black coordinate. Um, we put it with black thread just because this background colour just couldn't quite get the right colour to match and I looked at it I thought there's a lot of black on there if I was at home sewing this I would probably use black thread 
because if you did use this lighter colour, every time you go over the black bits, it would be really highlighted anyway. So the same would happen with the black on the background. Uh, okay, and ash. This is a 180 GSM cotton spandex, so that matches in with those colours in there. Okay, danger zone, ITY. Right, I've got two left for you. Both double brush polys. This one is called Whisper. So this has been in a sub box as well. And I think we've got a Whisper in Navy. This is Whisper in Black. It's a really sweet little print. It's really cute. It's a nice deep black background. It is white on the back of the fabric. Really nice stretch. Double brush poly has the best stretch. And it bounces straight back so it won't get bigger on you during the day. Beautiful drape. So this one we have put with thread number one thousand, uh, 4,000, sorry, not 1,000. And then we've matched it up with coral pink. This is a 250 GSM modal. So it goes with that darker coloured flower that's there. Um, and it'd be beautiful, this in, you know, a skirt, shorts, pants, and then a top made out of this one. It'd be lovely. Uh, what else do we have? We have mocha, double brush poly. And we have ivory, double brush poly. Obviously black would look amazing. And peach, double brush poly. There's some really cute little options there. So this is whisper in black double brush poly. All right, time for our Lush Sunday special, which this week is a brush poly, and it's this super, super cute print called Amalfi. I just love the background colour in this. This gorgeous green, and the sweetest little print on it. So this, it's quite a small print, which means it's great for adults or kids. It uh, doesn't really matter the size of the garment um, because it's quite a small print. So double brush poly again, which means it's lovely and soft and it has great stretch, great recovery on that stretch and great drape. So this one, I don't have a matching thread for this one. I just couldn't quite get the right green for the background. Yellow, rayon modal white double brush poly and sienna double brush poly it's kind of cute and then mango cream rayon modal that would be pretty together unfortunately we didn't have a green like this one that would have been really nice but it wasn't to be so this is this week's lush sunday special which means it's a little bit cheaper just for today um, and we do that for those that haven't tried this fabric base before or for those that haven't tried Lush before and you just want to test the waters. Just slowly dip a toe in and see what you think. All right, that's it. That's our 10 fabrics for today. We've got four solids there. We've got six prints there. Two of those prints are good for autumn or winter. So we're just dipping into that one as well. Um, so hopefully you love them all. Don't forget to enter our competitions on Facebook. Uh, we've got two running, the page and the group. And then I will see you again next week with more Gorgeous Fabrics. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you then. Bye.